Hi, John here. Um, today is Friday, the 25th of August 2017. Now, I just got a Skype call from my friend in Scotland, Aberdeen Shire, and um, they're my family, adopted family there, um, working in with the Maui Powerhouse Group Company Limited in uh, London. <clears throat> so um, we had discussions with um, investors there uh, and they are involved with world projects uh, for uh, uh, common people or to free the people of world and um, we're getting something together before the end of the month and that coincides with the uh, Paramount Chiefs here up in Waitangi um, and Titi Marae uh, their meeting on the 30th of um, August 2017, 29th 20, and 30th, um, we'll be going up to that, I'll be going up to that um, uh, hui, because we're meeting with a man uh, called Nadin Naidu, Indian uh, High Court Judge. Now, I had a discussion with um, Bundy Waitai, the Paramount Chief here in um, Hokianga, or in Kaitai. Um, so I'm filling him in, I'm sending the stamp to him here in the box. I'm sending him his stamp here uh, and the stamp pad that the King William stamp and the um, Chief, the two Chiefs and the flag, and this flag here, and that's the back end of the flag, um, or the stamp you can see, an outline of King William IV, and um, his surrogate here, and they're having a meeting on the 10th and 11th of um, August this month, this next week, uh, to, um, um, I wouldn't say crown, but to appoint me as officially on Titi Marae as the surrogate King William IV <coughs> uh, partner in commercial contract bank trade or trading bank, commercial trading bank uh, partnership uh, that's still 183 years old um, uh, that we are in a private contract uh, with um, British uh, government and Westminster Magistrate Court straight to uh, Okiato Magistrate Court in Russell and in the Awaroa Magistrate, uh, Native Magistrate Court in Helensville uh, and um, in the Whakawhitira uh, Native Magistrate Court in Tikitiki, Rotoria, uh, Mount Higaragi area of our land blocks. So that's tying that all together in a legacy that has not been um, seen for many years and we're just bringing it into fruition with the stamp of authority that I'm just explaining to Andy how that works and so he has um, his uh, friend there Sasha Stone uh, to um, talk to me on Skype uh, and to arrange uh, something uh, of an administration from the British end that um, uh, we are going to kick off um, finally after all this time. Since 2008 I started on this journey with the Lisbon Treaty um, being uh, whisked away by Queen Elizabeth II and um, Gordon Brown, Prime Minister then, um, that um, created the uh, EU Parliament and that um, dreadful um, business that's going on with her there. <clears throat> at the present time we are up against with this flag. Queen versus King, jurisdiction of courts. We are in the Admiralty Court with this flag and I'm just saying this will overpower anything that's out of place or a threat to the King's Bench Common Law Court. Uh, from the King's Bench side, you can, from the Queen's Bench side, you can see all the fraud happening here in Auckland, and that's what we're coming up against on our 
meeting and our court hearing for John Key, Panama Papers, um, as the first defendant uh, in a court hearing, a, 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 a native magistrate court hearing in terms of Wakamarai in Epsom um, <coughs> on the um, uh, 29th and 30th of September 2017. Now, this Indian uh, High Court judge, <coughs> Mabi Maju, Indian High Court judge, is having a two day hui at Titi Maroi on the, um, what did I say, the 30th of this month. 30th, I think I'll just check, I'll just make sure on what day is the 30th of August. 30th is on a Wednesday, 30th and 31st, Wednesday and a Thursday. Uh, I'll be going up there to that because I want to see that um, the Indian guy will be um, telling us how to do things. And so I'll have a say on the King George III the father of King William IV, this flag and this stand, <coughs> um, authority with the East India Company from India, that's this guy, uh, Mabi Maju, I think that's how he's pronounced it, excuse me if I'm wrong for announcing that, and Nadin Naidu. Um, Thursday, Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday. So, um, Horaki will be there as well. So, I think they've got a, a something to do with that. Um, we'll, we'll find out. But I'm saying, I'm coming with an authority here, straight to Britain, under the 1834 Declaration of War flag. <coughs> that is the only King's flag in the world of the Admiralty jurisdiction. So, we're going to match up in their jurisdictions of King George III in East India Company that he started off from Britain and the laws, land laws of England and also the Admiralty started there. The Admiralty started there, went to America, then came here and I've got all that record here that I'll be talking about, some of the documents I'll be taking up for those that uh, High Court judge to see. So he's acting in the capacity of High Court Judiciary uh, and um, just short of the um, Chief Justice Judiciary in the Supreme Court. That's only for appeals, but the High Court has the last say when it comes to payout time and to convict people of very large sums. In this case, John Key won trillion pounds on his head bounty and we're going to wrap that up with this guy on the 30th and 31st of August. Um, so that's a Wednesday and a Thursday that we'll be up there on this video to let people know who we are and who I am um, in readiness for the um, 10th and 11th of this month. Next week I'll be up at Waitangi uh, to um, um, be presented with the surrogate king's korowai. That's a high honour bestowed on um, Araki chiefs in this country, New Zealand, New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Uh, a korowai uh, meaning of um, someone in um, um, a position of, of say or power to say things on behalf of tribes and hapu. So I'm honoured to be there uh, to um, give a wānangas on the Whakaminia, the documents I have here, all the documents of the Confederation of Chiefs, 1835 Declaration of Independence flag that followed on from the 1834 Declaration of War flag. I'm saying that in that sense that this flag here creates a state of emergency in a country that is at war or being caused by war by British themselves and 
this flag steps in to stop the war and to seize the whole place back under British rule. That's if it has been given sovereignty and independence from Britain or otherwise, a Commonwealth country uh, with British rules. Uh, this flag steps in and declares a state of emergency of any threats on its lands and its people. It's common people under a king, not a queen. That's where the problems are. The queen is rampant with fraud and corruption that we're reigning in on this court hearing, the Native Magistrate Court hearing that steps into the High Court after they have had their uh, grand jury trial hearing in Auckland in the Native Magistrate Court or any Magistrate Court, but we won't go into their jurisdiction because that jurisdiction is out of order. And then it goes into the High Court of jurisdiction in Britain or with this uh, British High Court judge from India, it's still the same court. It's still the same High Court on its own country's jurisdiction. We have our own jurisdiction, the same as he has in the jurisdiction of India for India, New Zealand for New Zealand. New Zealand is a bitter country of all denominations um, running it, rampant. They're running with no checks and balances, no authority from Britain itself, Westminster, no seal from the Westminster Magistrate Court or the Westminster government, Fauna, no seal from the Queen. They're just running on an empty tank of law that's out of order. So that's all I wanted to say with this video, is that um, uh, I've been talking to Bundy Waitai this morning and I've got a little short clip on that as well. Uh, and then at the same time with our contacts in Scotland. And I'm um, um, uh, going to the Edinburgh, Edinburgh Magistrate Court where all the titles from here started from uh, under that magistrate, magistrate um, court um, uh, judge at the time, uh, Lieutenant, Lieutenant William Simons. Uh, 23rd Regiment of the Royal British Navy started there with this flag following in 1834. Uh, so um, uh, Edinburgh was the chief on this flag, Chief Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manigao from Waikato, who made the contract to sell New Zealand and the Pacific Islands through that captain. Um, William Simons, and that's I'm um, doing the same job as him as a surrogate king, a little bit above him, but a surrogate king with a flag. He does not have a flag from the king, we do, straight from Britain. So that's, um, that's um, the part that's missing in all the uh, British um, uh, United Kingdom um, way of conquering the world and they're still doing that now. I've watched um, um, George Soros um, videos this morning and um, on how he uh, is manipulating the um, economy. He's a, an economist and he um, uh, is a Hungarian born and a Jew at that and um, I can see he's up against... He, he has uh, Obama, Clinton, uh, uh, behind him, um, and that's and and uh, that's in counter to Trump and the Rothschild banks and um, 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 the administration of the U.S. federal state government. So Soros has no uh, control of the U.S. Securities Commission in America, though he's running the whole place uh, from the economic development side and political side. He has uh, the power and the money to pay for uh, disruptions to the government in the United States of America and um, um, Black Lives Matter and all that uh, racket that's going on there uh, because of what he went through as being a child of war 
uh, and uh, in the concentration camps ready for um, um, getting rid of. Uh, they were going to be slaughtered and all sorts of things and he managed to get out of it and bribe his way out of it and now he's in England <coughs> knocking down America, the Queen side. He's knocking the Queen around but he, uh, the Queen is on the Rothschild side so the Rothschild banks and Israel and America is the enemy of Soros. I tend to go that way on the Soros side because of what America and the Queen has done on the Queen's bench side against the King's bench side, which I'm picking that Soros would tend to go under. And um, him and uh, Putin is separate. He's not in the US Federal, US Securities Commission. That's a whole heap of racket in there. And those are the thugs, the pirates, this flag is going to rein in. So in some ways, although I don't support Soros, I've just signed a petition against them this morning, but not to say that he's there with his own money that he's created from smart in people that are not smart and using high intelligence over the people with less intelligence to make his mass fortunes. Now we're coming up with this flag <coughs> which goes above everything. Uh, that has been derived through Admiralty and on the Queen side. So George Soros is not Admiralty, he's George Soros is George Soros. And that's the end of it. He's a manipulator of parliaments and people in power. And that's what I've been looking at, how he managed to amass his fortunes off <coughs> the backs of other misfortunes of people who have not worked out how to run the economies of the world and that's his job mastery. He's the master of the economies and this is an econo economic development flag of a king. He ain't no king and so that separates him from us but on the other hand he is um, intelligent enough to run the world but this flag here is England where he's operating out of England and Britain, UK, he's operating has to be under these laws, some laws, and he's got his own laws. He's framed his own laws uh, to run the world. Uh, and so um, there's a name for his laws, but I'm just saying uh, he runs the Apollo lines and, and the 780 billion stimulus bill. Um, the federal government, he, he funds them. He funds the war and the military. Um, uh, oh, sorry, that's the, the federal is opposite him, sorry. <coughs> he's, he's for police intelligence. He's the one that arranges police, not the military. The military is, is arranged by the United States of America and British military. So he's not military, he's police. Okay, so anything that's got police on it, it's George Soros, including the police in New Zealand. It's going to be under his business. He's the one bankrolling it, okay? Green jobs, cap and trade, that's what he does. Tribes, Tides, Federal, Tides Foundation, Apollo Alliance, Global Warming, Action of Emulsion Rights, uh, Use Funds from Revenues, he created the Revenues, Energy Bill, and all um, Immersion Rights. And he has created all the charity funding that has raised all the money, like Clinton Foundation. All of that, he, it was George Soros that organised all that. He bankrolled them. He bankrolled them with the money he was collecting. And he's giving away all that money because he can't take it to his grave with him. And he's given away all that money back to the people in Haiti and um, um, other countries that he's put the money in there. But the Clintons took the money for themselves. And... and screwed it off, but that's to be seen yet, because Haiti is supposed to get all those millions they never got, because the Clintons took it for themselves, and that's the part that we're up against, in a way that they've screwed Soros, the Clintons have screwed Soros and all the other ones that have used these money that he's put up, it's a bit the same as Glenn Owen, <coughs> has been screwed by the Warriors chief, Graham Hart, um, for the money, the billions he puts in,
to business. It's, it's a similar thing. Um, uh, philanthropist. That's what. That's that's the term for George Soros. He's a philanthropist. It's a bit like um, um, a bit like Glenn Owen and this other guy that's going around with his little party that started up. Um, um, and uh, the bird fellow that don't like uh, that don't like. Uh, uh, some some things in New Zealand, um, Gordon or something. Oh, I've forgotten what his name. I'll think of it. <coughs> but um, him, he doesn't like cats. That's it. He doesn't like cats. That guy, um, Morgan. Morgan. Uh, Morgan. That's his name. His second name is Morgan. Uh, he's got his own party. He's got his own his own political party. Anyway, uh, enough said about that. Uh, so I'm preparing to send this stamp in the box to Bundy and to um, Adi Waitai, Paramount Chief, and to um, Manahi Parapara, Mohini, Paramount Chiefs. So they they have a job to do in the courts, and um, they'll have their documents stamped for this High Court judge to step in the middle. He might even represent us here as a High Court judge to advice how to do things in our court hearing in Auckland. I hope that he might be able to assist in that as well for Cook Street, the seizure of the land here, and our flag will finish that off. Uh, so beware you people of making notice on this video for the record in uh, Britain uh, and also New Zealand and the Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth. Take notice that we are now legal and an authority straight into Westminster Magistrate Court, England, and the High Court of Admiralty in London. Two hour cases. Period. That's it. It's all over in two hours. If your name appears on our Facebook sites or YouTube accusing you of crimes in New Zealand, um, under the Crimes Act 1961 and 1951, then you're up for a trillion pound note smacked on your head with this. Okay, on the documents that we stand with those chiefs. They are the authority and partner to the King of Britain, UK. King Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and New Zealand Pacific Islands, Commonwealth country of the world. Absolute. <coughs> he is the incumbent president, King of Britain, UK, Hanover. And Prince William cannot be a king when there's a king there. That's his problem. So, people, I just want to tell you that I'm making things public so that you know we have legal issues now with this country and the land that these pirates are sitting on, creaming it off for themselves and their own private investment interests without any thought for who we are. Now Soros has no heart for um, sympathy uh, and sympathy for uh, social social events or communities. Soros is for business of making money for himself and for the people he gives it to. To fight the world of the opposite side of the Queen and the Church and State governments and also against the um, Rothschild banks and US Federal State government and United States government of America. United States of America is a private company and US federal state government is a private company. <coughs> United Nations, he's up against them. He has control over the governments on influencing power players, big businesses that need money and countries that borrow money from him directly. They don't get it in little bits, they get it one shot. He just pays the cheque for the whole amount. 300 million straight out. 
not drips and feeds that the Crown Corporations takes most of it for themselves. Now, in the case of Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation, Soros funded all of that. All the racket that Hillary Clinton set up against Donald Trump, we're going after that and her for um, manipulating people in countries like Haiti and took the money for herself. And Haiti didn't get any, whereas Soros put the money to Haiti, the 300 million or so, and the Clintons gave them only 5% to 10% of that money and kept the rest. Now I'm going after the rest with this flag because I believe at this stage, off the record, that Soros is on our side for Black Lives Matter or natives or anybody that's had their land stolen and locked up in prison by the corporates. Soros is behind the police. The Queen and the Rothschilds have military, this military power here. So if we combine the military power in Britain back with the police and the Metropolitan Police, um, Scotland Yard, in, in Scotland and England, then we'll have superpower under this flag back into the King's custody, King's Bench Court. And King Ernest Augustus, or his son, if he abdicates to his son, um, Prince Regent, Ernest Augustus, 38 years old, uh, and his father is 63 years old, just a bit younger than me by five years, then we'll have some serious business on our hands in private contracts with them and the British government less the, the Lords, don't need the Lords there if the King's there, he can select his own Lords out of that bunch or not at all and find new ones. So I'll be there for that. I'll be there in England for that and these Chiefs take over here. I'm one of the Paramount Chiefs with my own surname Wainua with Bundy Waitai and Hiriwini Karaka or Selwyn Clark, one British <coughs> immigrant here and permanent um, immigrant here, permanent um, citizen here, but the Clark name with the E on the end, he's the British partner to Bundy, myself and Manahi Parapara Mohini. The four of us are the Paramount running this side of the King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court in Titi Marae on the 29th, Friday, of oh, the 29th Get that right. The 29th, Friday and Saturday, the 30th of September 2017, in Auckland. Te Runga Waka Marae on the corner of Clyde Street and Manaka Road in Newmarket, going towards the airport way, 200 metres up the road. Over there, that's where we're having the meeting and the court hearing for John Key and for others I have named in two hour case. A two hour case will start at 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock and opening up there at 2 o'clock, ready for the court hearing. So people, I'll put out an agenda for that, and on this video, just making this statement, quite clear, uh, that I'll be um, putting on this magistrate court hearing for these people we have named, with a trillion on each of their heads. Each person that goes into a magistrate court has a trillion on their head. Why I say a trillion is because <coughs> With all the birth certificates, all that money has been made, all the way through, um, um, that has been accumulated under the fiat money. Uh, that racket started off in America in 1933. That plaque that sits on Mount Eden Hill, you'll have a look on it. <coughs> it's got 1933 on it. <coughs> That's the survey land title to this Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. That's that title to this country on the legal documents stamp with this stamp now on that title of this so-called birth certificates, birth deaths and marriages, bond on the stock market in New York and also <coughs> what I'm saying about um, 
how they've made the money um, that I've calculated to one trillion on each birth certificate title instrument for bank money inside this flag. That's the bank flag for bonds on the stock market King William IV set up in New York, 50 years in the Navy as magistrate um, from Britain set up there for this reason to use that birth certificate for security over that person on that land and if they didn't do anything about it the Crown owns all the probate from all the people that have used, that have died all that probate money the Crown keeps, that's our title we have the inheritance title to all of that inheritance and that's why you got a trillion pounds on your head you add it up with that birth certificate when you were born, how old you are, then work out, we have a formula for that, when I put the court hearing on, the formula for that, to work out your worth value, we're putting a trillion on it, and I'll show you how that is put together. That's accumulated all the money that the Crown made out of your live body, and made you dead, made you dead, and took the money as if they were you. That's your name in capital. And they mass fortune that. That's what Soros is up against. He's digging into them and that Admiralty with his own brain and his own organisation outside the US um, Securities Commission that's running the racket with the birth certificates. They dreamed that up. The King didn't dream that one up. This is commercial in our time. <clears throat> this is an hour time between 1834 and 2017. That came in the middle in 1833. They bankrupted America, then went to town on that racket fiat money. Okay, The pound note is our legal claim and our title as well, and the Bank of England. We're seizing the Bank of England and the pound note. We're using the pound note on those debtors inside this Admiralty Court Martial Law hearing. Okay, so once again, the trillion pound note on a bounty on each of those heads we name, in particular myself, or any complaints that come into the Paramount Chiefs in Waitangi and Titi Marae and any other Marae in the country. Those Paramount Chiefs has the right to charge whatever they say against any man, woman or child as not being a corporate crown dead person, but a live person, to claw that money back to them. We are recovering all the debts against that racket in America that's owned by the Queen and the Rothschild banks back into our custody and our own bank, the Moai Powerhouse Bank, <coughs> here in New Zealand, and the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Company here in New Zealand, in Auckland, and the Maui Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company in London Registered Company. Okay, Registered Company. We have an unregistered company, the Maui Powerhouse, the Maui Powerhouse Crown. The Maui Crown is an unregistered company. The Maui Powerhouse Group Company here in New Zealand is unregistered. That's nobody's business. That's our business with this flag. Not for anybody to know. Okay, so we have the My Crown King William the Fourth Trust Company in New Zealand that's unregistered as well, and that forms the arm of the challenge against the corporate crowns, New Zealand government companies, all its corporate companies, and 14 police companies at the same time have the bill of a one trillion on each individual man, woman, child, or in in this case, 15,000 police movements have a trillion pound on their head because of Natalie Flower Dean Brown. Cheeky policewoman arrested me, surrogate king. You'll find that's what I am anyway up at Waitangi when they <coughs> present me with that title. Officially, I'm just saying out aloud, I've been the only one to talk for the king right from 2008 with Mohi Manukau, Mohi Tamati Manukau IV, 
gave me all these titles to finish the job off. So there we go. Um, that's what I'll say on this video. Um, I better get together and get things cracking because it's already 10.32 already. I've been up since 2 o'clock this morning um, and um, done a fair bit <coughs> of work. Uh, so as usual, uh, we keep on the ball and keep moving. So that's all for now. See you later. Bye.